Hey everyone, Brandon and Brandon back again at the Kabuki Strength Lab and today we're going to talk ab training and specifically two different uh, types and this isn't necessarily exclusive to ab training but it's very relevant when we're discussing ab training. We're going to talk about the differences between motor development drills and strength drills because one of the most common questions we'll get is when should I be doing this? Well, it really depends on your intent behind the drill. Our motor development drills are going to be more skill based drills. They're going to be things that we do to improve the efficiency and technique of our actual training. They're going to be things that also produce a very low accumulation of fatigue, whereas our strength work is going to be more dedicated to maintaining positions under very high load or stress, and they're also going to produce very high levels of accumulated fatigue. So obviously, we can take any exercise we want uh, or almost any implement and do one or the other depending on how we load it. So we're going to use the dead bug today to show you exactly how to do that with both of those two different categories. We'll have Brandon get on the bench and we're first going to show you a way to challenge your trunk, which is what we're doing in the dead bug, as a motor development drill. Anytime we're doing the dead bug, we're usually trying to teach the individual how to expand in 360 degrees across their trunk so they can maximize their spinal integrity under load in their actual training. And the way that we would do that is have Brandon get in position and we're gonna cue him with a bit of tactile cueing of this uh, strap and we're gonna ask him to pin it down as he's holding that position. Now this is something that Brandon could do for a very long time. It's not going to produce very high amounts of accumulated fatigue and it's certainly not that positionally uh, uh, um, uh, challenging. Um, however, it is very challenging for him to get all the finer points we want him to do such as expanding posteriorly into the band as well as through his obliques and his actual abdominal wall. Now, if we wanted to use the dead bug and we said we're gonna use this as a strength uh, uh, drill or exercise, we can do it a few different ways. And we're going to show you a complex that we really like. And this would be less so of a motor development drill and more of a strength drill. And you notice on that diagram that we first drew, it was a Venn diagram because both of those strength and motor development both kind of contribute to one another, but they are certainly different. Brandon's going to do a very slow way to dead bug. Now the difference here is that Brandon is challenging, go ahead, is challenging his positions much more uh, uh, with a lot more effort and load. He is now still focusing on maintaining this, but because we introduce load, his positional integrity is going to be that much harder to maintain. Go and do another one, Brandon. The accumulation of fatigue is going to be much higher because he's going to have to reach those higher levels of muscular recruitment across his abdominal wall, obliques, and lumbar musculature. Go ahead and put it up. We'll put that down. We're gonna have Brandon put the bands around his wrists. Here and here. And again, we're going to challenge that same dead bug position with positional loading. Now this is very, very challenging for Brandon. You might not be able to see um, in the video, but he is working incredibly hard to maintain this position. Now maintaining position is the difference between motor development drills and strength drills among other things. So when you're determining when you should be doing which, we need to figure out if you want to produce a motor development stimulus or a motor development um, a drill or if you want to produce a strength stimulus or a hypertrophic stimulus and this is how you would do it. Anything you'd like to add Coach Brandon? Uh, just be sure even when you're doing the strength work or adding load that your lower back still stays in full contact with the uh, surface below. Perfect. Brandon and Brandon out.